everybody. Uh, it is Tuesday afternoon and we are pulling out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. We just loaded 18 totes of something liquid. <laughs> I don't know really what it is. It's uh, going to Helena Chemical up in Des Moines, Iowa. So we loaded that here in Tulsa, taking that up there. We loaded a Osceola yesterday, or an Edmond, Oklahoma out of Osceola. Brought it down last night, delivered it this morning. Came over here to Tulsa, loaded this, headed back to Des Moines. And, uh, That's really all I got to say about that. Not much more to say. Um, probably load one uh, tomorrow oh, morning or afternoon at Osceola. And uh, we'll continue the party from there. So, um, I would like to apologize to you guys. Uh, my last video, it's obviously been fixed, but... Um, I was in the process of trying some new editing software and I believe that it, for whatever reason, when I sped up the uh, couple portions of the video, it, I don't know if it was a glitch in the editing software or the way that the file uh, processed from the editing software through YouTube, but for whatever reason, I was talking 500 mile an hour the entire video, so I deleted it, worked on it all day, and I finally got it uploaded, um, which actually, I mean, you guys have seen that, uh, that video is actually doing pretty well, so that's good to know, uh, so sorry about that error, I don't know really what that was or who's... I guess fault that was, but uh, I'm glad that I got it fixed, and you guys were able to get a good video there, so there'll be another one coming up, uh, hopefully tonight, from my Denver trip last week, and uh, that should come up tonight, and then uh, we're working, of course, on today's footage, so we should have a good start to the week as far as videos. Um, another couple things new and exciting, I guess. I, well, I should say expensive and exciting, <laughs> because I, um, let's see here, I ordered two new microphones, because I broke my other one last week, and I got those in uh, Thursday last week, picked those up when I got home on Saturday, and was in the process of fiddling with them last night, and I noticed that neither one of them sounded any different than my other microphone, and these were supposed to be some relatively high dollar microphones, and, uh, so I was pretty discouraged. Well, I got to doing some research, and long story short, I'm an idiot, apparently. My GoPro that I am now shooting this... Left on South 25th West okay, whoops. Well, back up there. For some reason, my camera cut me short, but... When I started this whole venture, I bought this GoPro Hero 7 White at Walmart in my hometown, and it was it was the cheaper end of the cameras that I could get my hands on, so I thought, well, that would be a good start, so I bought an external microphone for it, and I got to read and, and found out you had to have a mic adapter, so I bought the mic adapter, well, there again, I didn't do enough reading, and the mic adapter is only good for the Hero 7, eight and nine, 
in the black model, not the white model. So this entire time that I, all these videos I've recorded and made, I thought the sound quality was, oh, it was really good. I had this external microphone, this high dollar external microphone, everything was great. Well, this genius, um, that was not the case because the mic adapter never worked. So all of my videos have been recorded on the microphone straight on the uh, uh, GoPro microphone, which actually is, I guess, pretty respectable. So anyway, In one quarter mile, turn right on I called GoPro and they confirmed my uh, suspicions, if you will about it and she told me that uh, the only way I could actually use an external microphone is to have three cameras. Well, I got to looking. The GoPro 7 Black is out of stock and it's the cheapest camera. So all they sell are their newer uh, 8 Black and 9 Black, Hero Black 8 and 9 Black. So of course, they're about $100 more a piece. And I was kind of down in the dumps about the whole thing. And uh, she said, well, to take the camera back. Well, the camera is... Uh, the camera is out of the 30-day uh, return uh, stipulation through Walmart. So, I... Uh, Cannot take you this tight. Keep left to US 412 East. Okay. I can't take the camera back. So long story short, she felt bad for me. And she emailed me a 25% discount code uh, through GoPro to use on my new camera purchase. So I have a GoPro Hero 9 ordered and on the way. So we should be able to do anything and everything with that camera for the channel. My wife is calling me. Okay, I am back with you. Uh, sorry about that. I'm talking with the wife and daughter. Um, and in the meantime, I missed my turn. So <laughs> things are going really good today. Anyway, um, so yeah, so GoPro sent me 25% off on a new camera. Um, I wound up buying a package with like an external, like a rechargeable uh, battery pack. And what else come with it? Oh, kind of like a, uh, a grip seal that comes with it as well. So didn't really need or want to spend the money. But I'm tired of sitting here yelling to talk to you guys going down the road. So uh, I've already made the investment in three or four different microphones, the external or the mic adapter, and I, so I just as well I guess I'll have two cameras now. So that'll give me two more ways to shoot, or, you know, one more way to shoot footage, so, who knows, we'll, we'll see what happens with it, um, the, uh, the Hero 9, though, should really, uh, help the sound quality, I've got a, a wire, wired mic, lapel mic, so, like, in this instance, I can talk with, a microphone on my chest and the camera back there and then I also have a, uh, and I ordered a new slimmer mic than my other one that plugs right into the side of the GoPro or the mic adapter and uh, you know allows for a high quality sound from the palm of my hand basically when we're outside of the truck so that should all work out. Um, 
what else? Oh, I got a new head cam. Uh, since my other one broke, or a head strap, so we can start doing head strap videos again. Um, I've had a really good response with this uh, this view here, so we can be doing a lot of this. So hopefully, it's just one way to spice up the channel, kind of uh, give the guys that want a little bit more more of a reason to continue coming back. So um, I still see that only about 25% of my continued viewership is subscribed viewers. So if you're not subscribed, please subscribe if you're going to, you know, if you're viewing the, uh, uh, the videos of the channel frequently. Uh, you know, I'm not, this wasn't set out to be a money-making uh, venture. Obviously, ads have popped up. I'm able to monetize now. Um, all that is, is just a, a minuscule amount of money that, that basically helped me recoup my now pretty sizable investment in the camera here. That's all, I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not YouTubing to make money and make a living. This is my livelihood. This is my living. Um, you know, the, the income from the ads is just, I mean, it's minuscule, you know, it's just uh, um, kind of a means to, you know, help recoup some money and, and to, you know, maybe if the channel grows a little bigger, um, you know, and, and the revenue goes up with it a little bit, then, you know, that revenue is obviously going to be doing what it's doing now. It's going to be applied to the channel. And, sorry, I'm an airplane now. I had to look at the airport, but, uh, um, it'll be, a, you know, is and will continue to be applied to the channel for camera, equipment, and gear, um, you know, maybe some bling for the truck, I mean, whatever, you know, just, just uh, for your viewing pleasure, I mean, I'm not going to take the money, put it in my pocket, and pay my mortgage with it, that, that's not what I'm doing this for, so, uh, anyway, so if, if the ads have kind of upset you, I, I'm sorry that, that it, that's the case, but it's just, it's just a way to help out a little bit, so. That being said, I think um, with the purchase of the new camera and uh, the experimentation with different camera angles, I think we can really, like I said, keep continuing to make the channel grow and uh, expand with time and uh, who knows what new and exciting things uh, can come from it. So. close to home which is a huge plus I was not able to test drive it because it was packed away in the back of the building uh, the gentleman that uh, owns it has a uh, uh, brand new Peterbilt that he runs out in California and back with and this was his old truck he parked in the uh, park when he bought his new Peterbilt and it's just kind of sitting there so, it's a very clean truck. Um, I don't want to, I guess, get too far ahead of myself because, like I said, I haven't even made an offer on it. Um, but I am, I guess, progressively working towards it at this moment. Uh, we'll, we'll just have to see what happens. So, other than that, that was really about all I done. I did not manage to get the wiring harness for this thing replaced. Um, I decided before I tore it all apart myself, I kind of wanted a second set of eyes to help me, just as a precaution. Um, when it comes to electrical stuff, it's 
especially something as expensive as that that plugs directly into the ECM. I want uh, you know a second set of eyes to make sure that I'm not crossing anything that I shouldn't be crossing or whatever and, and costing myself more money. So uh, that is this weekend's goal to get that taken care of. Uh, whether I, like I said, do it myself with a second set of eyes or I'll take it to my buddy's shop and, you know, have his mechanic do it. I mean, I know it's not a overly complex thing, but like I said, it's just, it's a almost $800 wiring harness getting plugged into a $2,500 ECM that's attached to a $37,000 motor. Don't really want to press my luck with any of that. So, we'll see. We'll see what the week brings and what the weekend brings and, and go from there. So, anyhow, uh, I'll cut that off here and uh, we're going to press on out of Tulsa here. We're just coming up on the eastern edge of Tulsa and uh, going to shoot up 44 through Joplin and then uh, up 49 into Kansas City. So hopefully Kansas City's clear, cleaner than it was yesterday. I, I had to detour out of my way quite a ways. They had a real bad ice storm up there and uh, pretty well had I-35 all the way down through Kansas City set down. And uh, if you don't have one of these, invest in one. If the sound quality isn't good, get her peaked and tuned. It may be an old technology, but it's not a dead technology. Um, that, that CB has saved my rear end more times than I can count, and that's exactly what it done yesterday. I've always got her tuned and turned on and listening in. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I caught the road report coming off there that Kansas City was just at a complete standstill from uh, Excelsior Springs all the way down 35. And the extra miles and, and minutes on the detour probably saved me hours because it sounded like I mean it was going to be shut down for pretty well the rest of the night while they uh, got her cleaned up down there in Kansas City so uh, if you don't have one buy one if you're unhappy with the sound quality and, and, and the output that you got I recommend finding a, a, a good reputable CD shop and, and spending the 40 or 50 bucks to have her peaked in tune and you'll love it forever um, and if you're an Iowa boy, Missouri, Nebraska, whatever, and you're in that area, I recommend Old Gold CB Fix-All and Repair out of Red Oak, Iowa. Uh, you won't find a better one in the country than Old Gold. Uh, good, honest, hard-working, um, unbeatable prices, quality, and, and service. So that's my recommendation. Uh, if you're looking for purchasing, tuning, accessories, anything, Old Gold Fix All CD, Red Oak, Iowa. Look him up on Facebook. Uh, he'll ship you one anywhere in the country, and he stands by his work, backs it, guarantees it. So, uh, yeah, with that being said, we'll shut her off here. We'll get uh, out of Tulsa, and we'll talk to you uh, later on today. So, catch you around.